Published 357 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of March 2018. Updated 1655 Eastern Standard Time, the 9th of March 2018. Stars at the BBC being chased for 30 million pounds and back tax are to sue the corporation claiming it was the broadcaster's idea that they set up personal firms to receive wages. The employees say they were pressured by the BBC to set up personal service companies, PSCs, and threatened to revolt last month. The move meant the corporation was able to save millions of pounds by not having to pay national insurance contributions, but it has now emerged that lawyers will argue the BBC did not do enough to explain the financial risk to its employers. Last month, former regional BBC presenter Chris Ackroyd lost a dispute with HMRC and was left facing a tax bill that could reach more than £400,000 according to The Sun. A high court bid will start in the next few days and 11 celebrity agencies will fund it. Some of the presenters were asked to pay hundreds of thousands of pounds after HMRC demanded the back tax. The newspaper reports that some lower-paid presenters at the BBC could go bankrupt if the broadcaster does not pay the tax. A WhatsApp group is understood to have been set up by a number of presenters affected by the tax demands. They called for the BBC to pay the portion of the bills covering national insurance contributions, an idea backed by Damian Collins, chairman of the Digital, Culture, Media and Sports Select Committee, this week. It comes ahead of three other BBC presenters, newsreaders Joanna Gosling, Tims Wilcox and David Eads, heading to court to fight a joint tax bill of nearly £1 million. The employees say they were pressured by the BBC to set up personal service companies, PSCs, and threatened to revolt last month. A preliminary hearing heard the trio pressured to set up PSCs if they wanted to continue working with the BBC. Last month, former regional BBC presenter Chris Ackroyd lost a dispute with HMRC and was left facing a tax that could reach more than £400,000, the BBC told Mile Online. We are not aware of any case being lodged with the court prior to 2017, where an individual had a personal service company it was their responsibility to pay the correct tax. However, HMRC introduced new rules last year and we are committed to supporting all our on-air presenters through this transition.